don't even know what this solid line is. If this solid line is in the middle, it, it means like it's a solid wall. You can't go past it. You only go where the lines are broken. In our continued effort to inform and educate you, we have introduced on our shadow traffic watch. Of course, the name says it all. Acquainting you with the do's and don'ts on our roads. Traffic Watch. Showing here on Orient Television every Friday at 5 p.m. with Jerry Osuji. The question is how often do vehicles stop to enable pedestrians apply and use the zebra crossing? Be careful as you drive. So the long arm of the law does not catch you in traffic watch. This is how we choose to welcome you to a fresh edition of Traffic Watch on this uh, station. Of course, you know the whole intent of this program is to acquaint you with um, traffic rules and regulations to ensure that at all times you are safe while walking or driving on our major roads. My name is Jerry Osuji and this day we are paying attention to the remodeled uh, roundabouts in some parts of uh, a state how are the people appreciating these works and how they are abiding by the rules of uh, traffic in terms of the various things they need to know do to ensure our safety on our roads stay with us Current efforts by the Ozadema administration to remodel some roundabouts in the state capital in line with global best practices may have injected some discipline into Imo road users. Traffic Watch has been observing traffic situations within the state in recent weeks, especially around the remodeled roundabouts. Our interest is to see motorists' level of compliance with traffic signs and regulations, with a view to designing practical ways of educating them where necessary. This is the remodeled warehouse roundabout Oware. Aside dotting the roads with relevant traffic signs such as these, Government is also concerned about the safety of pedestrians, hence it also constructed pedestrians walkway.
bet how well are the pedestrians patronizing their own workwear. Your guess is as good as mine. It is not surprising that almost all the pedestrians seen along Wayhouse roundabout we are literally competing with motorists on the major roads. This is where the issue of sensitization comes in. Out of 100 people that passed here, you are the only one that took the right thing. For instance, we now that is here. Yeah. Why did you choose to go here and not go into the road? Uh, because I do know, I do know that this is this is a step in the right direction. Because I do know this kind of structure is internationally accepted, and I love it. You know. I prefer what's going on now. But this thing is a welcome development. I like this. Personally, I jealous it. I like it. It's a perfect work. My advice to people, they should leave it because they more, if anybody, if anybody is here, jam, go to jam anybody from this meadow, he has no government to blame, have nobody to blame. Because government have created a space, a, a pass by, walkway. You don't go to meadow and struggle. I don't like it. This is a walkway, walk in it. It's our money. It's the government money. Thank God for the gov governor who have initiated this. Because I know the traffic rules and regulations. I know the pedestrian tracks. So it's not good to go alongside with the vehicles and uh, on the same road. That's why I follow this path. I want to advise every road user, mostly the people on the walkway, to observe the pedestrian and uh, avoid, avoid crossing the highway or the roadway to reduce the accident and my advice is I, I just have to take the road walk and it's very very okay and perfect and the road over here at Wayhouse is zoom zoom. I want to say thank you to the state government for the good work they are doing. Truly is a magic. Since our governor has decided to beautify the state and has constructed a pedestrian walkway, everybody should use it. Our lives are in danger. Anybody who is taking the other side is taking a risk. And therefore, since our governor is humanitarian, he loves the people and he wants to work. And he has started working. And he wants the safety of the people and has provided us a workway. Why shouldn't we use it? It's advisable to be used. Some people are not all that educated on the use of roads. Do you understand? I think there should be a seminar for people um, especially in the rural areas to know and to teach them how to use the road. We are developing gradually but then since the thing has been provided it is also advisable for them to if there's any orientation that can be given people should be well oriented well taught well prepared because their life is also in danger now the, uh, the, 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 the vehicles that are moving have already been given the move the command move so if they now walk into an ongoing vehicle, nobody should be blamed. I strongly advise that the zebra crossing should be respected, pedestrian walkway should be respected, and then every other thing will work in place. Back to the various traffic signs. This is Yellow Box. Also called Box Junction. This is a yellow box filled with a yellow grid of crease cross lines painted on the road. It is a common truth that many motorists are unfamiliar with what the marking is all about. 
Recently, this box junction has been introduced at the warehouse junction. As the sign you see on your screen indicates, this box junction is a traffic control measure designed to prevent gridlock or clustering of vehicles at the junction. In the case of the warehouse junction, the box junction here is controlled by these traffic lights. U turn. This traffic sign is seen at the edge of Olu Road by the warehouse junction. It permits the motorists to make a U-turn, that is, to turn and head back to where it came from. However, to make a U-turn, there are conditions one must follow. If you have to make a U-turn, you are going to basically start with your car alongside the roadway to the right. The whole idea with the U-turn is that you want to turn the car around and go back to the opposite direction from which you came. The proper way is to put on your indicator and make sure it is safe before you leave the space. With the indicator on, check your mirrors and then look over your shoulder making sure again it is safe. Make sure there is no vehicle coming in front of you. If it's safe, then move. Turn your wheel all the way to the left and bring your car all the way around and face the direction from which you came. Zebra crossing. Those who ply our roads must be conversant with zebra crossing. You may recall that we have treated this topic in one of the editions of Traffic Watch. Zebra Crossing is an area of road painted with broad white stripes where vehicles must stop if pedestrians wish to cross. You will notice Zebra Crossing at strategic places around the remote roundabout. I told you earlier that some of them don't even know the traffic rules and regulations because they just they are just driving simply because they can drive. Some of them don't even have driving license. They don't know what it takes to drive. So I would advise them to go for training, even though they know how to drive. They should go for proper training and know that this zebra crossing, once they get there, they should apply their brakes and um, in order to safeguard the life of the people that are using their legs. And the modern one in your that Ndena Huma can help Borosa, Peshima or Boka, Pandana no Bala, or Toto sign in the Hopotara. Kaha had an name, mistake, Hanaba. So Akujere had the Wulen, and it will help the people of Imo State. Ilanya, some people are mad at those signs, and it's causing a lot of problems. I think they need to be taught about it. A constant irritation to you know radio jingles uh, television you know keep telling people about the traffic signs you know some people seem to forget and uh, due to when they are in a hurry they just want to disobey the traffic sign but when you keep reminding them about the traffic signs when to obey when to stop it will help
The sign here draws the attention of motorists to the presence of zebra crossing and expect that drivers should take note of passengers as they cross the road. While government's current efforts in remodeling the roundabouts is receiving commendation, the activities of some bus drivers at the former lifeline section of the warehouse junction poses a threat to the free flow of traffic, especially vehicles going towards Asamta Avenue. Traffic Watch has noticed very regrettably that in a bid to either drop off their passengers or carry new ones. The bus drivers who have turned that corridor to a park often block a large chunk of that portion of the road, thereby making it difficult for oncoming cars and lorries to pass. This singular action has more often than not led to a gridlock at the box junction as vehicles moving from bank road are stuck at the illegal loading bay, thereby preventing other vehicles either coming from or moving towards Olu Road to do so. We therefore call on relevant authorities to address this anomaly by vacating the bus drivers and their buses from that portion of the road. Expectedly, obedience to these traffic rules, either by motorists or pedestrians as the case may be, will ultimately bring the needed sanity on our roads. If you have enjoyed this edition of Traffic uh, uh, Watch on Orient Television, be sure to join us same time next week as we come from another angle in our bid to ensure there is always you know, safety on our roads. I am Jerry. I'll see you again next week.